Okay, you guys, I have all three Monster Ball dolls here for you. I'm just kidding. I know Laguna is missing, but I'm not getting her probably. And they should have included Frankie instead of Laguna anyways. Sorry, but Frankie would have been cuter. I don't know. These are the only three I liked, which is majority of them, except for Laguna. Which I'm not really feeling like the Laguna dolls... Like, I don't know. I got them because I wanted to complete lines, but I'm really not feeling them. So we have Claudine Wolf, Monster Ball doll. She is so cute. I love the little top knot. Top bun. I don't know. Then we have Draculaura. You know, loving all of the pink. Her ears, they look, they just look so, like, elfy. Like, they just extra exaggerated, like, sticking out on this doll. But it's still super cute. And then, of course, the baddest queen, um, Cleo Denial. <laughs> I didn't mean to say queen, but she is a queen. Yeah, so ab adorable. So, I guess we'll start with Cleo. Let me get the other two out of the way. Okay, so I got her out of the box. Miss Cleo, she is one of my fave, fave, faves, like, of the, the new G3 Monster High dolls. I love all of her dolls so far. They are just, like, like one after another astounding. <laughs> I can't think of another word for her right now, but Miss Clear, Clear. I don't know. It sounds weird trying to say it, but like how they say it on, um, what? Don't they say it on that, like, mermaid movie like that? Clear! Oh no, clear! <laughs> like they're trying to say Cleo, but they say clear. I don't know. Or someone says that. On something. And yeah, let me finish getting her out. Okay, she's free. Her hand was like stuck in there, hard to get out. But look at her beautiful bracelet. Isn't this so cool? It's a little snake that like unwinds around her arm. That's just so, so cool. I love this little snaky accessory. And look, you can even like wear it like that. That's cool. So, here's her earrings, kind of similar to other ones, and I love her, like, black dress. I think it's, like, two pieces, maybe? Yeah, it's definitely, you can take the black top off and just leave it, the blue underneath. And then her makeup, I love the little pink lip, and I love how she has the little gold on them all, all the time. And there's her bandages, her little, um, ring. And it's kind of hard to tell, like, what it is. It just looks like a bunch of, I don't know. <laughs> and then her shoes are so, so cool, too. There's the little, like, um, Egyptian eye. And then the snake heel. That is so, so neat. Love them. And the colors so pretty and here's her hair it's a really nice like dark deep blue underneath here isn't that just like so nice and then it has a little like kind of lighter blue and then the gold tinsel and then here's the little like hair i don't know what do you call them and then her necklace and her belt you guys, I don't know why I'm like out of breath. I think because I just filmed this other video right before I started this one. So, okay, here's her cupcakes. They do not come apart. They're just like all stuck in there. And then she has like this little tongs, like, I guess for the cupcakes. I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Like, I thought it was like a fork at first, and then I saw it's like tongs. So, I don't know. 
We're like, where do you even put these? Like that. Something. They're just this adorable, cool, little like king, I guess, cobra, snake, scepter. It's just so, so neat. I love all the snakes like in this outfit. And then the little makeup. Isn't it just so cute? It just has the three little colors and then the, <laughs> what is it called? The eyeshadow brush. And then it's a little pyramid. It's so cute. And it snaps closed and she looks like she can hold it. And here's her purse, which snaps open, I guess. It's kind of hard to open. I can't open it with my nails. Maybe with some scissors. I don't want to like break it, but I guess not. It kind of looks like teeth almost like around it. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. And I'm sure if you could get it open, you could put this inside it. And then here is her like headband. And it's so cool. I don't know anything about like any of this stuff, but you know, it just looks really, really cool. So let's see how. Let me get it on her real quick. Okay, here she is with the headband and the scepter, which is kind of like, I can't get it on her thumb, and it kind of looks weird, like, on this hand, because it's, like, backwards. If she's holding it like this, you have to, like, make her hold it, I don't know, like that. And then you can see it, and then on this hand, if you put it on the ring finger, it's kind of like, the ring here is in the way, so you can move it, you could probably get it in there, but... I don't know, it just feels like they should have made it like big enough to get onto this thumb here so she could just hold it there, you know? I don't know, but there's the little headband and I tried to like not mess up her hair, but it kind of like went through her hair right there. So hopefully like it's not messed up if I take the headband off. And then here's her little cardboard picture, which you know, this is what makes you kind of want to get all of them because it's like if i only have these three i don't have her but i have like all these little pictures of all four of them it's just like mm, fomo fear of missing out you know oh excuse me so let me grab i guess claudine okay here's claudine in her box and then her artwork on the back and they're just so pretty. I just love them all. Well, except for La Gluna, of course. That's why I didn't get her, but let's get into her. Okay, look at her. And you know what I really love about this one? The eyeliner, the wings. That is just, I don't know, so pretty to me. Like, they really did her makeup very nice. So, and I love the little different color lip. And then the, um rainbow tinsel so pretty i love this color um brownish of her hair and it has the pink the purple i just love the like sparkly rainbow like i don't know y'all a lot of people hate the tinsel but like i always say i love it love her little earrings i love the moon this one's kind of eh but still cute and she has a little bow tie and i love this top underneath that is so so cute you could like definitely pair that with some of her other like outfits and then her shoes they got like some spiky going on little moons and some of course like leopard cheetah type print on her sides of her pants and this the little moon button details so so pretty so cute then her bag this one would probably be easier to open so let's try it wow look at that and here's her little 
compact, which this compact was closed and hers was open. So it's like, I didn't close this. I would have not closed it so I could have at least seen it before I can't even open it. Ugh, one second. Okay, her compact is, I guess, a mirror and some powder. Pretty interesting. It's just a little skullet. And then, like I was gonna do with the other one, put it in her purse so it doesn't get lost. And then she came with a little donut with a moon on it and some sparkles. So, so cute. And then, of course, like a little, um, what are these called? Uh, a wall, donut wall. Which, like, I always see those in movies, but I've never actually seen that in real life. And then these cool balloons. I love the star and the moon. And then, of course, the skullet. Just so cute. Very, very heavy, though. I don't know if she'll, like, hold them up very well. But here's her picture. See, there's not even Cleo in this picture. You know? But there's Laguna. And it's not like I don't like Laguna. I love her in the movie, the show, the G1 dolls. Well, kind of. But, like, it's just none of the G3 dolls of hers have wowed me yet. And they have none of them have just been like, oh my gosh, so pretty, so, so pretty. You know, like these, like Cleo, all of her dolls are so, so pretty. But Laguna is just... I don't know. I don't know. Like, there's aspects of her that I like, but it just... I think it's just too many colors clashing. Like, they made her pink, and then she has all this blue going on, and... I don't know, it's just too much, maybe. Like, you know. You get me. But, here's her super long hair. It's kind of like half up, half down. And the little top knot. So cute. So let's see if she can hold these balloons. If I can bend her arm. I hate when you get like a new doll and their elbow is like inside of a sleeve and you don't know which way it bends. Anyone else? Oh yeah. You definitely can't hold these balloons. <laughs> they are just, I don't know. What do you do with the balloons? But still, super, super cute, pretty. Let's get her little purse on and stand her next to Cleo. Yes. And let's go get our baby Draculaura. So I ordered from Target and hers, like, well, hers and Claudine's both had stickers on them. But hers left, like... The sticker and the like residue and then yeah so if you're an inbox collector and then also look at all these like scratch marks right here like you might want to wait till you find them in store so let's get into her and here was her back of the box my bad look at her it's just so pretty oh dracula look how cute she is Look at this bow. Isn't she just so, like, lovey and adorable and pink? Like, come on. She has a chocolate fountain and chocolate-covered strawberries. Like, just so cute. And then she has this adorable tiny little lipstick with a little heart on the top. It's just a little pink. So, so cute. And look at her little purse. It's like a, what's it called? Um, a perfume bottle vial. Like the top, you kind of see what I mean? It's just so cute. And she put her little lipstick in there. Perfect. And it was like on her hand, so. And then this, like, it's such an interesting piece, and the bow can come off. That's kind of cool. I wonder if it could, like, 
No, I was gonna say like if it could go on like her wrist or something. Let's see. Yeah, it can. Just another giant like bow accessory on her. That's kind of cute though. Like if you don't want to display like this, you're just gonna throw it somewhere. You can take the bow off and put it on her hand. That's a cool idea. That was an original thought by me. <laughs> just kidding, but kind of. And another bow on top, which is super cool. Has all these little like details in it. I don't know. You can kind of see her little bangs. They're not perfect, but they're not terrible. Yeah, I love her earrings. Little bat wings, hearts. And there's her necklace. And she has a little rose corsage. And this little pink bracelet here. And this dress is like all one piece. I think the bow. The bow is sewn on to the dress. And then she has these little stockings underneath. So the little big bow just fell. And here's her shoes. Aren't they so cute? All the little spider webs and the hearts. And they're so pink and pretty. And yay! Yeah, I just don't know like what you're supposed to do with these though. Like where you're supposed to display these giant roses and balloons. And anyways, here's her picture card. So cute. I wonder why... Why is... Claudine's the only one without Cleo in it, though. I wonder if Laguna has Cleo in hers. Interesting. I just want to know why wasn't Frankie invited, though. Why is there not... A Frankie Monster Ball doll. Hmm. Riddle me that. So, I think I kind of pointed, showed everything I wanted to about them. So, let's just look at Draculaura again real quick. And then here's her hair. It kind of has like this purple tinsel in it. It's pretty interesting. It's kind of like little lights. Like, if you look at it, I don't know. It's a little bit messy at the bottom, but it's okay. So, yeah. That's all three of the Monster Ball dolls. <laughs> Again, just kidding. I know Laguna is a part of them. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are the only ones I'm getting. I didn't even really want to get the Skultimate Secret one that much. But, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope this helped you see everything you needed to see about these dolls. Like, comment, subscribe, and bye!